bring everybody else up to speed, like what is a T-shaped resource and why are they that important to building up an effective Power BI program and why do we think they're kind of like step one, right? Yeah, yeah. And I, w- I would love to take credit for the term T-shaped resource, but this is something that we borrow from Agile Scrum, right? So the, the whole idea of the T-shaped resource is, is you have you have certain domains that you need for, for, for business intelligence, right? So if we think about, you know, the top bar of the T, right? You have people, you need to have people who are, who know something about data engineering, data modeling, data visualization, um, actually business domain knowledge, right? So those are kind of the categories that we have running on the top of our T. Now the, the leg of the T, right, that we have here, that's really the depth within each, each of those categories. So, you know, as much as we'd lo- love to have total experts, right? In every single one, every single one of those, those categories, it's, it's not realistic, right? So everyone, the thought is everyone could, everyone has their, their areas of strength and you leverage that, but you also spend time to cross train them across, you know, across the, that, across that, the width of of the T, right? Those, those domain areas that you need, where you need expertise, right? And that, you know, the thinking is, that gives you a lot more flexibility with your resourcing and your project delivery. And it ultimately, it should make for a more interesting career for, for your people, right? And kind of what I mean by, you know, flexibility with your projects is, you know, you know typically we think about the old way, you know, a data, a, an ETL developer could only do ETL development, right? A data modeler only did data modeling. So you had to have, you, you had to have these, you know, teams of people always had to have a team of people working together. Not that that's bad, but with the T-shaped resource, you have people who can flip-flop between diff- between different roles and give you a lot more flexibility. But they, but and that's why we have this slide up because it's funny as we were going through this mm-hmm. a, a few days ago in our in our our uh, program prep, I, I started laughing because I was like, you know, on on the infrastructure side of the house, right? On on the consulting side of the house, we call those unicorns, right? And it's because they're mythical creatures that don't exist in real life, right? They're they're really good at a lot of different things and they can effectively communicate and they know a little bit about business and oh, they're also technical and they help make good decisions. Like when you find one, you immediately tame it. You bring it into your fold and you try to make it, you know, uh, a part of your team immediately. And, um, And they're rare. They're really, really rare.